Astra Abyssosk, welcome to the Adventurers Guild. Welcome. The Adventurer's Guild told me to expect you to. It's nice to meet you, Asphand. We'd like to ask you about something. I see. So, Catherine's the one who sent you this way. It's true that the Aramites' network is vast, but even I can't help you meet the Dendro Archon. I'm doing well today. How are you doing? Thank you for stopping by. Wait, 
Seriously? That's it? <laughs> Afraid so. The Aramites aren't terribly religious, so we don't know much about divinities. As far as the Akasha goes, we can access even less than you. We originally came from the desert. The gods there died off long ago. Since those days, we've used our own two hands to carve out a living. We don't beg gods for their aid. I'm glad It isn't just good. us, though. If you ask me, I think most in Sumeru aren't interested in lesser lord Kusanali. Oh? Why's that? Just take the Academia, for example. They're the ones who truly rule Sumeru. Although they believe in gods, most of them only care for the late, greater Lord Rugadavada. Asphon spitting facts, to be honest. That's what it seems like it's been like so far. In their eyes, she was the one who founded Sumeru and gifted us with the Akasha. Lesser Lord Kusanali just happened to inherit her legacy. Because of the Academia's influence, most citizens are more familiar with Greater Lord Rukadavada and hold her in greater esteem. Not to mention that Lesser Lord Kusanali never makes an appearance, and the Academia never announces anything about her. As far as the people of Sumeru are concerned, she's just a god that exists. And that's all. Really? Aww. After hearing all of that, Paimon sort of feels bad for Lesser Lord Kusanali. Ha! <laughs> but who knows? We're all just guessing when it comes down to it. Besides, I'm sure the God of Wisdom doesn't worry about her reputation among people like us. That emote is amazing. I don't know where you got it, but I love it so much. <laughs> that is awesome. Alright, well, thanks for the info, Osfond. <laughs> no problem. Always happy to help out the Adventurers Guild. was right about most people's attitudes here. Not only are they not interested in the Dendro Archon, they even say stuff like, if the Akasha doesn't think I should know, then I don't need to know about it. We've been asking for information non-stop ever since we got to Sumeru. But the harder we try, the more helpless everything seems. Isn't there at least one person in this entire city who cares about Lesser Lord Kusanali? Oh, uh, you two are interested in Lesser Lord Kusanali? Huh? Who are you? From the sound of it, you two are outlanders who recently arrived here. You've been asking around for information on Lesser Lord Kusanali, right? Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Dunyarzad, one of Lesser Lord Kusanali's faithful followers. I like her voice. She's got a pretty voice. Also, cool! She actually has followers. I was thinking she had none, so that's kind of nice she's got some. Whoa! Really? Then do you know how we can meet with her? I'm afraid I can't help you with that. But your conversation earlier did happen to remind me of a legend about the Dendro Archon. Sure. It goes like this. Long, long ago, there was a man who heard a prophecy. It predicted that a great calamity was about to befall him. Panicked by what he heard, the man sought out the Dendro Archon in hopes that she would bless him with the wisdom to help him escape his predicament. The man journeyed across deserts and through rainforests and experienced tribulations of every kind. However, he still couldn't find any trace of the Dendro Archon. In despair, he thought, alas, the Archon has abandoned me. He then had no choice but to sorrowfully resign to his fate. She is really pretty. I really like her outfit. Okay, and then what happened? 
And then, the calamity came. But to his own surprise, the man felt somehow emboldened by the trials of his journey. By relying on his own strength, he managed to overcome the adversity. At that moment, a bird perched upon his shoulder. This bird was, in fact, an avatar of the Dendro Archon. She said, Oh, Archon Seeker, do you now understand? She and her wisdom have long been found by you. Along your journey, we were in every flower and blade of grass, every ray of sparkling sun and every breath of dancing wind. So long as you continue to think and ponder, we'll be wherever you go. Yeah, thanks for the story! Paimon feels all warm and fuzzy inside after that. <laughs> uh, in a way, it seems like this story is also one of the Dendro Archon's avatars. Dunyarzad, since you worship Lesser Lord Kusanali, can you tell us anything else about her? Of course. So did you two know that, uh... uh I'm, I'm terribly sorry, but it seems something's come up now. Uh, let's chat another day. What happened? Someone giving her, da like, daggers or something? That was hey, interesting. Hey, wait! Uh, what the heck just happened? Be right back, stream. Okay, I'm back. <clears throat> Let's see, Kusanali is pretty boring. I, will, I don't know, necessarily know if it's boring. I think it's... I don't know. I actually haven't seen her in game yet. Um, but I've seen photos. She's just... I don't know. <laughs> she is just a little kid. And I think about it, to be fair, the other Archon's designs, they're not necessarily boring, but they're a little bit simpler. At least from what I can remember from what Kusanali looks like. I have yet to see her in game and I'm just trying to remember from like leaked photos, but <laughs> I can't fully remember. So I might agree, but I don't know. <laughs> Cause I, I can't fully remember what she looks like off the top of my head. It looks so, like they're searching maybe for someone. I agree. <laughs> hmm. Dinyarzad was acting super nervous just now. You think they're looking for her? We finally managed to find a lead about Lesser Lord Kusanali! We can't let them get in the way now! <sighs> Let's see if we can get rid of them! Then we can catch up with Dunyarzad! Hey! Have you two seen a brown-haired girl wearing a purple top and a long blue dress? We're looking for her. No. Uh, did she have bandages wrapped around her wrists? Yes, that's her. Did you Hi, see Mon. which direction she went? <laughs> Come on. Uh, yeah, she went that way. Okay. Quick, after her. Why do they want her? I'm so intrigued. What did she do? <laughs> that should Paimon. keep him busy for a while. Let's hurry and find Junior's on. So proud of yourself, Paimon. Let's see. 
she a fugitive or something? I don't know where she is, or if she's a fugitive or not. That is very intriguing. And I guess she didn't go the way that Paimon pointed. I don't know, it looked like she did, but... Oh, there she is. Hello. There you are, Dunyarzad! We thought you might have been long gone by now! Oh, it's you two. Oh, you startled me there. Hi. <laughs> You can relax now. We threw those people looking for you off the trail. Really? Thank you so much. Unfortunately, I believe there's still more of them out there looking for me. What'd you do, girl? Uh-oh. Looks like there are some coming this way. What did you do to cause them to be on your huh? butt like this? More of them? Then what are we standing here for? Run! <laughs> no, wait, I... Uh... My body isn't in the best shape. Uh, it's difficult for me to run. How about we find some place to hide? Okay, sounds good. There's a tavern on the other side of the port we can go to. They probably wouldn't expect me to hide in a place like that. Exactly, I am right, so confused. let's move out. Stay behind us. We'll Our... keep an eye out for anyone looking for you. Intrigued, I guess. It's also fascinating that she's the only person we've met so far that actually follows Lesser Lord Kusanali. And is also wanted like huh is that is that are they related you know <laughs> hi Catherine bye Catherine oh that's Miss Tran and Joy no I'm sorry I'm streaming I have not been in this tavern yet I realized no let's see what it's like I'm excited I like Sumeru so far at least the the land itself is very beautiful I haven't unlocked all of it, but what I've seen, which is mostly like the, the rainforest, is very pretty. She is either doing something sus, or the other guy is just going after Kusanali followers. I can, I think so. I think you're right. We'll just have to see. Like maybe they think it's like treason to follow Kusanali and not Ruka Devata. I don't know. Guess we'll find out. <laughs> we made it. Oh, they shouldn't be able to find us now. Wait, stand oh. down, Dia. Dia, that's how you say it? Ooh, Dia. She's so pretty. My lady, who are these two? They're travelers that I met on the street just a moment ago. They happened to notice that you were all searching for me, I so know her. they helped me hide. She's, I see. I love her. In that case, you She's two so should pretty. scram. There's nothing here for you. Wait a sec! Who the heck are you? <laughs> Why are you shooing us away? I'm on. I'm on, please. I'm Miss Dunyarzad's bodyguard, here to see that she returns home safe and sound. <sighs> My lady, let's get going. You've been gone for so long that your parents are worrying themselves sick. Yeah, she's she's stunning. I've never seen. I like this is the first time I've seen that. I didn't know she was gonna be in Sumero already. I was thinking she'd be like. Maybe in a later bit of it, so... I'm glad she's here. Ooh, it's exciting. And if I refuse to go with you? It'd be easier for the both of us if you cooperated. But if you insist on not going, then I'll have to carry you like a sack of potatoes. <laughs> hey! Junior Zod already said she doesn't want to go back! Why are you still pushing her? Oh, Paimon. Stay out of this. You don't understand the situation. Sorry, my lady. Even though I'm your bodyguard, your parents are my employers. I have to answer to them. Makes sense. How much? I guess. Wait, what? Huh. How much more do I have to pay you to become your employer? So you never listen to my parents ever again. Double? A triple? Give me some time and I'll get that much. My lady, this isn't about Mora. <sighs> I don't know what you think of us Aramites, but let me say this. I like Mora, but I'll never go against my principles. That's why Aww. I'm here looking for you. Sure, it's an order from my employer, but my conscience was also telling me it's the right thing to do. That's cute. That would be a cute little situation. I mean, Kale's in love with Amber, or at least maybe not in a romantical sense, but she's very enamored with her. So that would be cute if she's in love. Aw, that'd be cute. I like that. That's a fun headcanon. And knowing your health, carelessly running around like this is gonna hurt ya. For the sake of those who love you, don't be stubborn. Oh No, you're wrong. I'm aware of my limits, and I know what I'm doing. Honestly, the only people being stubborn right now are my parents. 
and I know perfectly well that it makes no difference if I'm at home or not, they still won't accept reality. And every time I bring this up, they just change the subject. Dia, you've been living with us a long time already. This should be old news to you. <sighs> Dia, I know it hasn't been easy for mother and father, and I'm grateful for everything they've done for me. But there's someone else in this world I'm also grateful to. Because she saved me. The love I have for her is the same I have for my parents. This is my life and my last chance. So I want to do something meaningful. My lady, are you sure what you're doing now is meaningful? I agree. I think Kali sees Amber as her hero and wants to be like her. I think she sees her as really, like, an awesome person and wants to be like her. I definitely agree with that. Um, with... So, it sounds like... Junior's at... Junior's odd loves Kusanali, but not like, obviously. She seems to really admire her and respect her because she saved her life? I'm really intrigued. Like, what do you mean saved your life? Yes, I'm sure. At least, it is to me. <sighs> Fine. I won't ask you to return home anymore. But let me make something very clear. I'm only doing this because I respect your determination, not because I agree with you. Thank you, Dia. <sighs> Sorry for being so rude just now. My nerves were acting up. And I even brought up your payment in such an offensive way. Uh, don't worry about it, my lady. I did say that I like Mora. Besides, that's our next topic of conversation. Today's little excursion caused such a ruckus that every single bodyguard at the estate was deployed. Oh. It wouldn't be easy to hide things from your old man. Since this definitely won't be your last escapade, here's a little tip. You should at least make it look like your room and things are still in order when you leave. <laughs> also, you'll need someone to cover you for when you're out and about. So, I'll let you hire me, my lady. This way, everyone wins. As for the pay, let's say mm, half of what your father pays me. We can settle the bill when we return to the estate. Okay, nice. deal. Works out well. Yay! Looks like also... we've reached an understanding! <laughs> Ish, oh, not her. Ish, uh, one second. I'm fine, really. I, I just feel a little tired now that things have calmed down. <sighs> My lady, stop trying to look tough. We're already in a tavern, so let's rest up and grab some grub. Is sh she's not a cat girl? No, she's got ears right there. Yeah, okay. Her hair is just pointy. Okay. I was thinking, like, is she a cat lady or is she pulling a kaching where she looks like one? Um, should I just call you Cheese? Yeah, just call me Cheese. That works. That's what I go by. You're good. I'm sorry for worrying you two. If you don't mind, I'd like for you to join us. Sure! After you rest up, we want to hear more about Lesser Lord Kusanali. Please tell us more about Lesser Lord Kusanali. Please. I want to know. Well, your perspective is just tunnel visioning. Mm. Who says that? Assuming these two. <laughs> yeah, that confused me. She has like ears made out of hair, but also human ears, so it's like. Whoa, a dude just spawned on me. What the heck? <laughs> Where did he go from? Wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm assuming that they're day and night cycle NPCs, but like, they <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Uh, anyway. Yeah, I think she's a human just with pointy hair. Cause like, Kaching, her ears look like- Or her hair, sorry. Looks like cat- like, almost like horns, actually. But, um, I'm not even reading this, I feel kinda bad. But she's not a cat lady. Or anything with horns. She's just a human with hair. So I'm assuming it's just her hair? I don't know. You just can't beat the atmosphere here. Whoa, now she and now she's completely gone. Oh my gosh. Oh well, didn't mean to start it. Oh well. <laughs> Ah, 
Well, if it isn't Dia, haven't seen you in nearly half a year. Dia, 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 Dia. Word on the street is that you're a bodyguard for the Homayani family now. <laughs> Don't you find that kind of work boring? Nah, you get used to it. How about a menu over here? You got it. Huh? Isn't this little oh. Miss Homayani herself? <laughs> we don't get to serve personages like you very often. We'll be sure to prepare our very you best. Magically. I Thank mean, you, apparently Sarah. you're right. There's no need. I don't have a lot of mora on me, and I really ought to save as much as I can. Uh, but please bring these two the best food you have. They're my new friends. These three. So I want to be a good host for them. Us and Dia. We'll pay for our own food. Wait, we're paying for ourselves now? Aww, Paimon kinda wanted to try we're something so fancy, loaded. but we aren't exactly loaded. Guess Paimon will settle for something ordinary. We are so loaded, but How whatever. about Pimon's our point. coconut charcoal cakes? Ooh. They're our signature snack, and they run cheap. Look, other customers over there are eating some now. Wow, that looks so good. Uh, they look kind of burnt and dry. Paimon will pass. But you've cooked slimes before, Paimon. Huh. What do you have against my slime dishes? Nothing, but that's rude of you. You continue chatting with Dunyarza. Dunyarza, Dunyarza. 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 we asked a lot of people when we first arrived, oh, and almost no. nobody was interested in Lesser Lord Kusanali. So, Nervous. what made you want it, to follow her? It looks so delicious. The one in front of Paimon looks... Ah, oh, it looks like a food that I've seen before, but I can't remember the name. It looks so good. Ah, oh, like I, I, it's like a real life dish. I can't think of the name though, but it's like a flaky, almost like a sandwich. I don't know the word. Like it's obviously it's not a sandwich. Is it? Is it baklava? I can't tell. It kind of looks like it, but I can't tell for sure. I forget the name. Anyway, it looks amazing. I want to try it. You want to try it too? Ah, it looks so good! Well, remember uh. when you asked me if I knew how to meet the Dendro Archon? Even though I don't know how, I think I've actually seen her before. Huh? Really? Yes, it was when I was a child. At the time, my illness had kept me bedridden for the better part of a year. I was stuck inside and couldn't make any friends. And my parents did their best to find treatments for me. But even then, the Akasha didn't have any helpful information. My younger self no longer had any hopes or dreams. One flare-up was so bad that I was in a semi-conscious state for several days. Damn. Then one night, I woke up alone in my room. I was terrified. My body was paralyzed. Even if I cried, there was no sound. At that moment, an ethereal voice Lysar? spoke in my mind. Dunyarzad, don't be scared. You don't have to cry. Dunyarzad, don't be scared. You don't have to cry. Aww. <laughs> Who are you? How do you know my name? Um, how do I explain this? You might not be able to understand, but actually, I know everything about you. Stop, she's so Really? This is adorable. Of course. I know that you're scared of thunder, that you hate taking medicine every morning, and that you love counting the petals on your mom's skirt. I will say one thing. This is I love the artwork of Genshin. I think this is really nice. But if this is supposed to be Junior's odd, I'm disappointed that they didn't make the NPC in game have green eyes. But apparently here she does. I will say that's one small thing that I wish they kept consistent. Either give for the NPC green eyes or make her eyes brown. Because that was kind of, anyway. Sorry, I just wanted to say that. Wow, you really do know everything. The art is amazing. I agree. It's very beautiful. Junior's odd. Is there anything you want? What? Not really. I, I can't go anywhere or do anything. Huh? But aren't you a child? All children have wishes. Tell me what you want, and maybe I can make it happen. It's like D. Luke's hair. It looks good in the arc, but in game. And Albedo's hair. Oh, 
Leto. His hair is so nice in his artwork. And yeah, like you said, they. I don't know what it is. For some, it's it's, in a way, like to an extent, it's also like Persona. Um, not as bad because Persona looks good in both. I think. Uh, or at least n it doesn't look like this. <laughs> like, it's not such a stark transformation from the artwork to the game, in my opinion, with Persona. Um, but the character models do look different than the artwork. They look a little derpier, but they're not bad. You, you know what I mean. Hopefully. Well, I guess if you've never seen Persona, you wouldn't. But it's a similar phenomenon. Uh, but Genshin just seems like it's really bad with it, which kind of sucks, but... At this point, it kind of is what it is. I've been playing it for long enough. Then, can you make my illness go away? Oh. I'm sorry. But I'm not powerful enough to do that right now. Then, can you be my friend? No. Oh. After that, the voice said, Okay. I'll be your friend. Although my body was suffering during those days, that voice encouraged me and told me many wondrous things. Okay, so you know Persona. So you, you know that it, the transformation from the artwork to the character models is a little derpy, but not like bad. It's just a tiny bit derpy. This is like, some of them is low key, like just kind of not good, which is a shame. You know, thought that was Yao Yao for a second. Ah, oh, that'd be nice. I, we still need Yao Yao. Yao Yao when? I want my bell head. <laughs> Beyond my window was the flourishing Sumeru city. Beyond the city was a lush rainforest. And beyond that was the wall of Samiel. Deserts and all of Tevat. Once I finally made it through that bout of illness, I couldn't hear that voice anymore. I told my mother about it. But she said that I must have been dreaming. But I know that that voice wasn't a figment of my imagination. Before that, I had never heard of Tafat. So you believe the voice you heard was Lesser Lord Gusano? Yes, for sure. If it weren't for that voice, I would have never grown curious about the outside world. Nor would I have learned how to read and enjoy so many books. Aww. That voice sparked a desire for wisdom. It had to have been the Dendro Archon. I've been hoping for a chance to repay her kindness. In fact, I was running around today to help prepare the Subzerus Festival for her. What's the Subzerus Festival? Oh, it's it's birthday, Lesser Lord birthday. Cusinelli's birthday. Yeah. Which was the day that she was found by the sages. It's actually an old holiday that originally celebrated Greater Lord Rupadavata's birthday. When she passed away, the holiday eventually became a celebration so she, of the Lesser the Lord's day. birthday. That's cool. I heard everyone was overjoyed when they welcomed her back to Sumeru. In those days, the festival was a huge deal. But because of the academia's influence, people have gradually lost interest in the festival. The academia actively participates in Sumeru's many holidays dedicated to Greater Lord Rukudavata. But when it comes to the Subzeros festival, forget any funding. They practically act like it doesn't exist. Maybe they see Lesser Lord Kusanali's birth as confirmation of Greater Lord Rukadavata's death, so they're reluctant to celebrate it. That's Aww, fair. but that's awful! It is, but it, is. it makes sense. It's the absolutely logic. terrible. Sure, the Greater Lord founded Sumeru, but hasn't Lesser Lord Kusanali been the one quietly protecting us for the past few hundred years? <clears throat> Just remember that we're still out in public. Don't get too carried away now. I know that people over by the Grand Bazaar still hold the sub Festival to this day. But I hadn't met any of them before, so I was never able to contribute. But recently, I made a friend there who also follows Lesser Lord Kusanali. I gave her my savings because I want her to throw a wonderful festival this year. That's the least I could do for Lesser Lord Kusanali. Thank you for the follow. Hearts up for Ciro. Appreciate it. Thanks for being here. Hold on, my lady. Does this friend happen to be Nilu, the one who sends flowers to the Nilu. estate? That's the water chick. Yes, isn't it? that's her. Yeah. It's mm, her. I saw her leaving the other day with a nervous look on her face. It seemed like she was hiding something in her arms. Did you give her something? Uh, yes. Uh, initially, I didn't have much more prepared, so I had Nilu Jeez. sell one of my skirts. I've agreed with Nilu to meet up at the Grand Bazaar today and see how things are coming along. 
Dia. Dia, would you accompany me? Dia's pretty cool. Sure. That's quite the trip, <laughs> though. I'll carry you. Oh my goodness. No, that would be too much. Even for you. You might as well just accept the lift. If I let you walk, who knows how long it'll take us. And if anything happens to you, then I'd really never hear the end of it from your father. I feel like Dia does love her. Does love. Does love. Yeah, she she seems very protective of her, which I know she's her bodyguard. But she talked about how they lived. You've lived in my estate for a long time. You should know this. And she seems very. I don't know. That's very sweet. But of course, Nilu will be thrilled to hear there are more people interested in Lesser Lord Kusanelli. Nice. So it's nice that there's more than one one follower, even though we've only really found one. It'll be nice to see this. It's cool that the um. The eventual characters we can play as are well, okay. I don't know if Dia believes, but Nilo seems to, so that's kinda cool. <laughs> hey Bobo, you doing okay, honey? My dog is asleep and he was not feeling great earlier, so yeah. <clears throat> That means we're not the only ones. <laughs> Honestly, they're really cute. I don't see why people wouldn't ship them. They seem to be very, like, attached to each other a little bit. I feel like, anyway. Wait, how the heck do we get to where the thing? Oh, down here. Okay. Whoa, this is so. This is a cool design. Are we in a tree? I just realized. That's cool. I'm a fan fellow person of culture. <laughs> it's such a pretty ship. It is. I like it. <laughs> Ooh, there's Nilo. Or N Nilu? How did they say it? I think Nilu. Uh, sorry I'm late, Nilu. Nilu, yeah. Oh, Dunyarzad. It was taking you so long that I assumed you got trapped at home. But you made it in the end. Uh-oh. But if Dia's here... That means you got caught, right? You could say that, uh, <laughs> but everything worked out. She's smiling. She's on like, our yep. side now. She's got the magic carpet. <laughs> uh, not Jeff. completely. Who knew? Oh, and who are these two? Oh, meet the Traveler and Paimon, my two newest friends. They're visitors she who just arrived at Sumera voice. City and Very are looking soft. for information on Lesser Lord Kusanali. So you're followers from another land? Yep. Wait, truthfully, no. Wait, we're not... We're not really followers, no. Oh, really? Well, that's okay. You're still invited to the Sub-Zeros Festival. <laughs> By the way, Dunyarzad, Ooh, we've already started decorating the Grand Bazaar. It looks spectacular. Thanks to your generous contribution. This better not make me pull You're from very you. welcome. It's the only thing I could do. Do you still have enough Mora? I can't recall if she was a five star or a four star. If she's a five star, though, that means I might. This, if this makes me pull for her, I'm gonna be mad. I'm broke. I can't do this. I can't pull for all these characters. <laughs> but I don't know who's five stars, who's four stars. Oh my uh, gosh. Probably. But don't sweat it. Neither was a five star. We've already finished renovating the stage. Come what on. What about Dia? I'll You know what? If she's a five, I feel like she's like a five. I know when she's a five, I'm like, oh gosh. My if a question wow. starts, then I know. This place is amazing. Okay, it is not bad. 
The last time I was here, the stairs were full of holes. I know, so many new five stars and no money. Exactly. Same. I will say, I'm pretty sure Genshin posted a video of this area. I started to watch it, and then I was like, wait, this is a spoiler. So I clicked away. It was a cutscene of Nilo dancing. So I'm excited. I, I don't know if I'm going to get that right now, but... It'll be cool. I'm, I think we'll get it soon anyway. It looks like it's here, so the festival will take place. Dia is also a five. The no! stairs were nothing. <laughs> a little while ago, we discovered that the tree above the stage had a huge chunk of bark Look ready to fall off. Mr. Zubair was worried sick. Ah, man. All these five stars. We reported My it Genshin, to the academia you have enough money. many times, but they never sent anyone to deal with it. We didn't want anything bad happening, <laughs> so we were going to cancel all the stage performances. Why didn't anyone come to handle Oh, it? probably because it was the theater asking. The Academia looks down on performers like us. They probably think it would be best if the theater closed down completely. We can't let that happen, though. Not only would everyone involved in the theater go hungry, but then we wouldn't be able to hold the Subzerus Festival anymore. Wait, Yao Yao used to be a four, a five star? I actually thought she was always a four star. I never realized that. But that's okay. It gives me more likelihood to get her. <laughs> she got Ningguanged. Ningguang? That makes sense. She looks like she would be a five star. But Li Wei also has so many characters. So you know what? Half of them, most of them are four stars too. <laughs> Thank the Dendra Archon for doing your Zod. But the more she gave us, we hired someone to patch up the tree. And we also gave the stage a much needed makeover. It does look nice. The stage is going to be even prettier when it's festival time. I can't wait for you Ming to Wong see it. Ming should be a five. She should. And I can't wait she to really see you on should. the stage. She's You've the president, You've been practicing basically. so long already. It's almost time for your dream to become reality. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> it's our dream. I'll do my best for the two of us. It's a bit aggravating, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Ming Wong was supposed to be a five star. I feel like she should be, and not to sound rude, but like, she's the she's the head of the the Chi Sing, right? Or she's the Tian Chuan, I think is how you say it. She's like the president, but she's a four star, but yet Ka Ching, who's her vice president, is a five star. Make it make sense! Why did they demote her? Even her lore shows her as a five star. She threw a whole palace at the water beast. Yeah! She's... Oh. That's interesting. She threw a, a whole palace at uh, Osile, right? Yeah. Damn. I wonder why she got she they demoted her but kept Kiching as a five star. That's a bit that's a bit of a bummer because it does fit Ningguang very perfectly. Nilu, what are you gonna be doing at the festival? She'll be dancing the dance of Subzerus, the most important performance Ooh. at the Subzerus festival. Dunyarzad, have you told him the origin of this holiday? We've been known. I only told them about the Greater Lord and Lesser Lord so far. Okay. Then I'll tell you two about how this holiday came to be. Okay. According I just to realized. legend, very pretty the Sabzerus anyway. Festival was originally the Goddess of Flowers' birthday celebration for the Greater Lord. Hmm. A long, long time ago, on one of Greater Lord Rukadevata's birthdays, her friends threw her a celebratory banquet. Some of the gods got drunk. One started playing music, and the greater <laughs> lord started singing, so the goddess of flowers began to dance. As she danced upon the grass, countless beautiful Padisaras began to bloom wherever she stepped. Those brilliant purple flowers became her dazzling stage. All the gods clamored, oh, if only time could stop at this very moment. Her kid is a five star as well. She's very unique. She is very a very unique play style. But I'm assuming game balance because Zhang Li was coming. IDK, maybe. But I, I don't know. Maybe. But it does make me sad too because now it's set in stone. They're not gonna make her five star suddenly. But she, I feel like she deserves it. But oh well. Too late now, I guess. Sounds like they had a great time, but it sounds so much huh? more sweet. Really? Oh, you probably mean because all the gods in this story are no longer alive. Yeah. Although they aren't around anymore, they're preserved in our tradition of dance. This outfit I'm wearing is apparently based on how the goddess of flowers looked. Oh. Though we're just tiny people compared to the divine, 
We still have to do our best to make sure that the birthday girl feels loved on her special day. Nilu, you of all people will definitely be able to convey our well wishes to the Dendro Archon. I also noticed that you went the extra mile and scattered Padisaras around the stage. <laughs> they symbolize the goddess of flowers, after all. It's just a shame that all the real Padisaras went extinct after her death. Yeah. The Greater Lord brought forth Padisaras in memory of the goddess of flowers. But she ultimately could never truly replicate that beautiful purple. Ah, well, thanks for stopping by, though. I really appreciate you following and hanging out with me for a little bit. Um, hopefully you'll be back eventually. I don't know when I'm going to stream next. Sometime in this week, uh, I've streamed Genshin randomly because I want to get the Sumeru stuff done bef before I get it spoiled for me. So, like, <laughs> I'm going to stream it more tomorrow, most likely. But um, I don't know if I'll talk. But anyway, thank you for stopping by. Thank you, ba thank you for following and hanging out. I really appreciate it. Nice to meet you. Move back another day. Cool. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I'll see you then. Thinking about the Goddess of Flowers dance makes me wish I could have seen it. If my stage were anything like that... Uh, I'd be thrilled if I had just two real body Saras on the stage. <laughs> <sighs> so, Traveler and Paimon, what do you think? Interested in the Sabzerus Festival? Will you two be coming? Yes. All of Lesser Lord Kusanali's followers will be there for her birthday. It'll be a good opportunity for you to learn more about her. I'll be there. Or else I'll be square. Ooh, Paimon thinks that's a great idea! I don't want to be square. <laughs> you sure it's not because you want in on the fun? You sure it's not because you want to watch Nilo dance? I want both of these. That'll that'll be fun, but let's make a point of view. Of Nilo. course Paimon wants to watch. <laughs> Those two things aren't mutually exclusive, you know. <laughs> True. So how about we all attend the Sub Zeros Festival together? <gasps> that would be so much fun. I would Do love your that. Side. Let me show you which stage decorations we've picked out so far. Traveler and Paimon, if that doesn't sound interesting to you, then feel free to explore the area. I'll do both. Everyone at the Grand Bazaar loves Lesser Lord Kusanali, Aww. and we're all looking forward to the Sabzerus Festival. I'm glad that she's got In that followers. Case, we'll I was thinking she had in. none. I thought I was thinking she had none. I'm glad she's got none. Child. <gasps> they need their dog Swoof. Oh my gosh. I love you, child. Very nice. Our woof. Oh my gosh. Kamari. Hello, Kamari. Whoa! What's with your yellow hair? <laughs> and why do your clothes look so funny? Are you an outlander? Yes. Did you know that the Sabzerus Festival is about to happen? There will be loads of fun things to do at the festival. But the best part is when Ferris, the Knight of Flowers, Passes out candy to everyone! Aww, that's cool. They've got a night of flowers. That's cool. We've got a night of dandelions. Huh. Revamping the stage for the festival couldn't have been easy, that's for sure. I bet this year's festival will be one to remember. I don't know much about the Grand Bazaar, but I do know that the residents here have a penchant for song and dance. <laughs> Two things that the academia doesn't particularly approve of. Oh, and the perfume sold around here is a lot better than what you'll find elsewhere. The fragrances are longer lasting and they're gentler on your skin and... Uh, I mean, <clears throat> that's uh, what I've heard at least. Okay, this is gonna sound creepy, but do her eyes look like thick... Or not eyes, thighs look very thick? <laughs> is it just me? Or like... <laughs> okay, I will stop looking, but it's just... <laughs> <laughs> I was like sitting there looking at her and I'm just like, what in the- her thighs? Okay, anyway. Let me read the notice for her first. Recent performance schedule. Regular performance, The Merchant of Ormos, written by Sheik Zaba Zabar. Special performance tonight, The Legend of the Night of Flowers, leading actress Nilu. More exciting performances scheduled this week. Come enjoy our amazing shows. This show has been approved with Academia, but further improvements must be made in the allotted time before a second reader further reinforced the theme of wisdom. There's more to being... There's more to wisdom than just knowledge. Than, like... Yeah. 
book smart. Things are really shaping up, and there's a buzz around the festival this year. We're expecting people from all over to come by this year and buy things during the festivities. Don't be fooled into thinking that Sumeru City has the best of everything. Some festival snacks are only offered here in the Grand Bazaar. And when it comes to musicians, dancers, or singers, the Grand Bazaar's got the best of the best. Sure, those folks at the Academia might not like it, but what's a festival without song and dance? He's got drip. Oh, Dusty's a rich businessman. Okay, that makes sense. He's got drip, though. Damn. Cyrus, he's in Mondstadt. Unless it's a different Cyrus, but Cyrus isn't as old as this man. Oh, yeah, here's a branch master of the Mondstadt Adventurers Guild now, and he's got a beautiful daughter. He's not that old, though, is he? He's the tall, blonde guy. Maybe. Wow, I didn't think he was around this gentleman's age. I discovered in my youth might have been left these look. I want to eat this. I want to eat these so bad. They look so delicious. Oh, give me some rice. I'm so hungry right now. <laughs> Well, 
Frigid place like that. Wait, what if what could a frigid place like that know about a child's heart? <sighs> you could ass child, <laughs> the toy maker. <laughs> Dancing at the Sub-Zero's festival. You know, I also danced when I was younger. As a child, I even asked my grandmother why we performed the dance for the Lesser Lord when it was originally done to honor the Greater Lord. My grandmother said that Greater Lord Rukadavata is a beloved deity and honored by all. And Lesser Lord Kusanali is too. If the Goddess of Flowers ever knew Lesser Lord Kusanali, then she would certainly have wished to be her friend and hold celebrations for her, too. The Subzeru's festival has been losing its appeal over the years. Hmm. That is, until a wealthy benefactor stepped in this year and brought the festival back to life. I heard she forked out a lot of mora to make it all happen. Okay, unfortunately I have to end the stream here, um, simply because my dog woke up and it's just, I want to make sure he's alright and everything. So, uh, thank you everyone who tuned in, I really appreciate the support. I will be back, hopefully later this evening, whenever he falls back asleep, but, um, I can't guarantee that, I don't know. I got some food! Oh. I already have these recipes. Oh, not that one. Never mind, maybe I don't. Anyway. <laughs> um, let me learn those really quick. Anyway, I want to, like I said, thank you all for tuning in. I, I appreciate this support quite a bit. I will be back as soon as I, I can. Uh, I just gotta make sure he's okay. He's my priority. So, thank you so much for watching. Um, I'll see you all in the next stream. With, wherever you are, if it's day, evening, morning, night afternoon whatever time it is for you i hope it's a good one and i'll see y'all later have a good one bye bye <laughs>